Hi everyone, I'm Andrew. I'm from the painting area. This is my Pecha Ketchup, and I did mine in the style of a theme and how that theme is expressed through my paintings. So the format I've chosen might be more of a thing that you do as a mid-career artist like me, but I'm sure you'll get a sense of how to set up your assignment. And generally, uh, I make oil paintings on linen and sometimes on panel. And I'd like to talk about the work I've made uh, through my career so far and its correlation to the historical tradition of Vanitas. So uh, I'll talk about the work uh, in that context. So uh, I'll start with this work, which I made back in grad school. And since I did my master's degree in the UK, I spent a lot of time visiting historic house museums uh, in London. And I'd photographed them and sketched them and then I made a series of paintings um, that were really about the people who lived in them. I also photographed objects in toy museums and I'd buy paper theaters that you could assemble by yourself. And then I would make paintings of them. So around this time, I began um, extending this interest in still life. Um, I'd write museums to request permission to work with curators to photograph objects. Um, and as I, mentioned at the start, uh, I have an interest in vanitas. So vanitas is defined as a still life. It's a kind of still life painting from the 17th century um, that contains symbols of death or change as a reminder of their inevitability. And it's epitomized through objects. Um, so it's a kind of meditation on the uselessness of cherished possessions. So status symbols often appear in vanitas like the pocket watch, for instance. And the overall idea of Vanitas is that all of these things, these possessions, are here today and gone tomorrow. And Vanitas carries with it allusions to the Black Plague and of desperation, dehumanization, and loss. And you can see it here in this Triumph of Death painting that shows the plague sweeping across Europe and how it's reflected in the Vanitas pictures to the right. So in light of the recent pandemic, I'm reconsidering Vanitas in a modern conceit. Uh, and this that I'm showing you here is a work I have in the faculty exhibition, and it represents perishable objects um, and the kind of ideal orderly, orderly refrigerator that I wish that I had during the pandemic. But this is my real refrigerator, which is messy and stocked full. And uh, so, I'm including it so you can see that I'm having this kind of everyday, I'm experiencing my everyday scenery as Vanitas from the foods that I stock on my counter to the contents of my uh, freezer. Um, and to round out this series about the pandemic, I'm planning 10 new paintings that I'll exhibit over the next couple years. And the next painting I'll make will be the lower part of the fridge. So that'll make this a, a diptych with the fridge at the bottom and the freezer at the top. So meaning um, the whole work will be about seven feet tall. And thanks for watching and I'll keep you posted on how it goes.